So this is what we're going to make. One of my students slash mentees asked, how can I constrain a particle system to inside a mesh or a volume? So I thought it was a fun exercise to try and tackle uh, using POPs. The model on the right here is what's being loaded. This is actually an animated FPX, but I've just frozen it for the time being. It's one thing to do this if it's static, so I'm going to cover that. And then if this model it actually starts animating, and let's you know, bring that to life. So yeah, there's that model running, and here all these particles are being created inside. Yeah, so this is what we're going to make using POPs. Okay, so let's get on with it.